I would like to preface this video with the fact that if you follow half of these steps and do not go all the way through, it will mute your sound and you will no longer be able to hear me. So naturally, I would recommend watching the entire video and taking note of the steps before you enable them, or else you will not be able to hear the rest of the video and you will be entirely lost. Also, make sure that you're recording in a format that supports multi-audio channels. That would be MP3. First couple things you want to do is you want to have voice meter installed. Once you install that, you need to restart your computer, then go and download virtual audio cable. It's in a zip. You want to extract that and run the setup exe found right here. You want to run that. It's going to require you to restart your computer once again. You do that. Now you have virtual audio cables installed. You have voice meter. You launch voice meter. Before you set any of this, before you set one, two, and A1, you want to go into your playback devices and set the voice meter input to default and recording to default for voice meter. Once you have that done, you will want to put one to your microphone WDM, do not do NME, it has latency, two to cable output on WDM, no NME, same thing. A1, you set to your desktop, your default desktop sound. That would be, in my case, speakers for Sound Blaster Z since I have a sound card. A2, you leave blank. One, you put on B. Two, you put on A. Three, you put on a, this way it separates your audio channels for your voice, your desktop, and your VoIPs. Once you have that done, go into your preferred VoIP of preference. Mine would be Mumble. Go into your settings, go into your audio wizard, hit next, and you set the input to voice meter output and your output to cable input audio virtual cable. Looking back at editing this flip, you can hear an echo coming from Mumble. That is an intentional feature of its setup system where you are able to hear yourself in real time. I deleted out the track so it's a lot quieter, yet you can still hear the play through my headphones. Keep in mind, while you still have your different audio tracks where you can edit out certain sounds, you can still hear those sounds if they lap over through your headphones, which are playing your desktop volume into your microphone, because then it becomes part of your microphone track. So adjust your volumes accordingly so that your microphones do not pick up your headphones. Once that's done, you will have your VoIP separated from your voice and your desktop sound when you go to record. It works the same way for every other program. Say for example, you go into your settings for Skype. Your microphone would be voice meter output and then cable input, the virtual audio cable input. Once you have that all done, you wanna go into your OBS, go into the setting, go to output, go to recording, and set it to record two, three, and four. You don't wanna record channel one because channel one is for streaming. Streaming only captures whichever channel you have it set to. So say for example here, I have it set to capture channel one. Therefore recording does not capture channel one. If you capture the same channel that you're streaming to, then you need to go and go through and delete out a separate audio track when you go to edit. Nobody wants to do that. Fuck that. So have your recording do two, three, and four. Once you have that done, go to your audio. Go to desktop audio device, select voice meter input. Go to desktop audio device two, select cable input. This is where your VoIP is being sent. And go to your mic and put your microphone in. It's just your regular microphone. Don't know what it is, don't really care. Go into your mixer. Now set every single one of these to whatever you stream to, which would in my case be one. You could have it set to two, three, or four. Then you want to go through and make it so mic is set to the track you want it set to. And the same for desktop audio two and desktop audio three, or desktop audio one. Once that's done, you should see three channels here. One is desktop audio, one is your mic, one is desktop audio two, desktop audio two is for your VoIPs. So say for example, I go into my Skype, I go into my audio settings, I go over to here, and I say, okay, let us test our sound. And you see now that desktop audio 2 is playing. I go over to here and I say, okay, let us test our sound. And you see now that desktop audio 2 is playing. That is because all VoIPs are sent to the virtual audio cable input. Make sure you play something on your desktop volume to make sure that's separate. You see here that the desktop audio is moving, my mic is moving. We go into my Skype and we start testing the volume on my Skype. And now you see here, it's all separated into three channels. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to replay that clip showing the different sound levels when you delete out each track to give you an example of what you can do with it. And now you see here, it's all separated into three channels. Now, with that done, 
We go into your editing program of choice, preferably one that supports multiple checks, or else this is completely and utterly fucking pointless for you. And I don't know why you're watching this video. So, we go into there. So you go into your editing program, you drag your clip in, you see if you have multiple audio checks, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Which one is which? I have no idea. It corresponds directly to your OBS. So if we look here, we're not recording track one. So track one inside of our editor would be desktop audio two. That would be our voice. Track two would be desktop audio. That would be our music, our game sound, etc. And then three would be our microphone. Now some people might be confused with this because, well, it says track four right there. I don't understand. Why aren't there four checks? Because... The first track we're not recording, we're setting that aside for streaming. So, say you go to minute blah 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 and you want to record this snippet or capture this snippet of you talking, right? You, you want to record that little snippet but there's sound in the background. So then what you would do is simply you go through, cut it out, move it, and delete that track and now there's no sound. And you set the... So say, for example, you're making a video and you get a Skype call and this is what it's going to sound like by default. Sound. And you see now that Desktop Audio 2 is playing. Fucking obnoxious, right? You don't want to hear the Skype call in the background. It ruins your video. The, the whole clip's ruined. So you go through. Cut it out. Drag it to a different track. Delete that track. Done. Now there's no Skype call. Us test our sound. And you see now that Desktop Audio 2 is playing. However, in this case, I have a set so loud that you can hear it through sound. my headphones. Which is unfortunate for this example, but you get the idea. So say for example then we want this track right here, of me talking. Then we get rid of the two audio tracks, we get rid of the music, we get rid of the call. And what I see here, it's all separated into three channels. Pretty simple, right? Or, say for example you want your desktop sound. Then you would simply remove this, remove this, now you only have the desktop sound. You don't hear me talking, you don't hear the Skype, all you hear is the music. Perfect.